Hello and welcome to this Interpet screencast. Today I will be showing you how to use the Interpet online catalogue via a registered trade login. If you are looking to use the catalogue without a login, please head over to our other screencast via the link on screen or in the description below. Our catalogue is the best place to browse our whole range of products online, giving you specific details about the products including codes to make orders. From the trade login on the catalogue site, you can browse all of our products online and create your own custom catalogue, documenting the product ranges you stock to download and view offline or use in the store. You can access the online catalogue by going to interpetcatalogue.com in your internet browser. To access the trade features, you will need login details. If you already have a login, simply click Login up here and enter your details. To register an account, click Register and simply fill in the form. Once you've finished, click register and the, that information will be submitted to create an account. You will receive a confirmation email to access your account, which includes a copy of your username and password for future reference. Simply click on the link in the email and you will be asked to log in. Once you've logged in, you will come to this page. As you can see, you can now access all of your account information, edit that information and even change your password. You will also see that all the Interpet brands are listed down the left hand side. To get started simply click on your chosen brand and the brand page will load. To download a catalogue across the whole brand, simply click on this link in the right hand side in the same way that you can without a login. Alternatively, to begin creating your custom catalogue, use the plus and minus buttons to filter down further into our filing system. When you reach the product listings, you will see that each product has a product image, a title, a description, the barcode and a product code. To add those to a custom catalogue, you use these functions down the right hand side. If you want to add products uh, singly, you can just use the add button over here. Or if you are collating a large range of products, simply click the tick boxes on the right hand side of the products you wish to use. And then use add check to catalogue at the top or the bottom of the page. Now if the product range has several pages of content, let's go to Mickey Training. You can simply click View All at the top here and all six pages will then be displayed in a long list for you. You can then scroll down the page, adding the products that you would like to include in your catalogue. Do this, scroll back up to the top or the bottom and add checked to catalogue. You can also use the search function to find specific details using keywords or product codes. For example, if you have a product code, enter that, click search, and it will pull together the products with that product code. And there we go. It's pulled in the product, and then I can then add that to my catalogue using either the add link or using the checkbox selection as I showed you before. Alternatively, you can use the search function with a keyword. So let's try filter. I click search here and that will pull together any product with the word filter in the title or the product description. As you can see, a keyword search can pull together a large amount of products, which we can then narrow down using the advanced search. So if I type the word filter, 
back into the advanced search. I can then select which brand I would like that to look through. So let's go for Interpet. Look within the title and description. I just want it to look at the title. This is for the product code ISPN or author. Well, I'm using a keyword search, so I'll leave this as all. And then I will leave the search results to be shown to me in an A to Z way. Then I'll click search again. And this will then narrow down that search to find a smaller selection of products for me. There we go. As you can see, that's pulled together 51 results for the word filter. And I can then add these to my catalogue by using the add link just here. Once you've made all of your selections, you can then view your final catalogue by clicking my catalogue at the top here. If I click through to there, I can now see my full catalogue across several pages depending on the product range. And there we go. If I want to download that, all I need to do is click create PDF at the top here. If I click on that. And this will download a PDF to my computer's downloads folder. If I then open that up, you'll see I've now got a full PDF which shows all the products I selected, which I can then print off to use in store with customers or just to have for personal reference so you know which products the Interpet range you stock. So there you go, you've created your own custom catalogue which you can uh, log back in and visit at any point. You can also add new products to your catalogue whenever you want by doing the same process as I showed you before. If you decide to delist some products from your stock you can also take them away from your catalogue by visiting my catalogue at the top and just clicking remove on the sidebar here. So if we remove those, they'll be removed from the catalogue and then you can update your offline catalogue by creating the PDF at the top. That concludes this Interpet screencast. For further screencasts and details on using other Interpet online resources, please visit our YouTube channel via the link on the screen or in the description below. Thank you and have a great day.